And it's Friday night and our wine guy is in the house. He's throwing corks. Actually tonight he's talking about corks versus screw tops. Is there really a big difference? Plus, we are easing you into the weekend with a visit from our wine guy. Find out tonight if you should pay a little bit more for a bottle with a wine that has a cork as opposed to those screw tops. Are they bad? Mm, plus. All right, we all know that I love a good bottle of wine, but I've been wondering lately, cork or screw top, is one better than the other? And I've been wondering, is there really a difference with the price? Now, our wine expert, Matthew Horbin, is joining us live to give us the scoop. So uh, what exactly is better, cork or screw cap? There really is not one that's better than the other. They're both designed to keep the wine preserved uh, for ageability as well as keep it from you know, leaking out when they have to ship it. So cork and screw top both serve a function. So it's a matter of does one hurt or harm the wine or does one not preserve it well. Um, screw, screw top has but sorry, lots of tests about screw tops lately. Ten years, um, no difference from uh, cork. Uh, Hogue Cellars in Washington actually did a 10 year study and saw that the wines with the screw top had better bottle, huh. um, bottle to bottle, less variation than the corks. Interesting. Does getting a screw top, though, mean you're getting a cheaper wine, Matt? No, not at all. Actually, um, although it has been in the past, you know, everyone thinks of screw tops and strawberry wine when they were in high school, but that, that's a thing of the past. A lot of places are doing screw tops. Plump Jack, which is a great Napa winery, top tier, they're doing screw tops with some of their Cabernet Sauvignon that's meant to age. All right, you named one, but what are some of the other wines that are screw tops that we should be looking at? I've got for? two great wines from Chile. One is the Santa Rita Medalla Real. It's a Sauvignon Blanc. It's $15, screw top awesome. And the other one is Coralijo, which is a Pinot Noir from Chile. So that's a red wine, screw top, easy to access, great wine. And they don't look like screw tops from here. I mean, I'm not looking up really close. They still look like corked bottles. So what about a plastic cork? Are those any good? Or Plastic corks are usually in less expensive bottles of wine. They actually let more air in than cork or a screw top, and that could harm the wine. So and they're all they're so also, no for the plastic. Yeah, part. no for plastic. Okay, well, you know, part of the enjoyment of uh, opening up a bottle of wine <clears throat> is getting that sensation of, you know, pulling it open and right. hearing it pop open. You're going to lose that with the screw top. You definitely, He's romantic. Man. Exactly. You definitely lose some of the romanticism. <laughs> but honestly, when you drink wine, it's about savoring the wine and the people that you're with. And that opening is three seconds of an entire evening of enjoying people and wine. So have a good time with wine. Don't focus on how you get to the bottle. I love that. A good time with wine, which is my leads website. me into my new <laughs> next thing. To contact Matthew or read his wine blog, which is called A Good Time with Wine, you can check out his website. We've posted a link on CBS12.com. And uh, thanks, Matt. That Thank was you. great advice. I can't wait to get a screw top <laughs> bottle of wine. <laughs> well, the